welcome back to our channel. We're Dos Cavazos, and we are watching The Corpse Bride. So I've never seen this film. However, Casey has. Mm -hmm. She's really excited to show me. I have seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I know is from Tim Burton as well. Yeah, I love this movie. It was a childhood favorite of mine. I haven't seen it in a long, long time, so I'm excited to watch it again. I was surprised when Anthony said he'd never <laughs> seen it before, and I was like, what? We have to watch it. So here we are. <laughs> All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this film. We also do have a second channel, Dos Cavazos. IRL where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content and if you want to check that out the link's down below. All right let's jump into this movie. These movies just like make me feel like it's Halloween time. <laughs> Spooky season. The one I've always been conflicted on is Harry Potter. Like uh, yeah. does that make you feel Christmas or Halloween? It's For me weird. it's more Halloween. But like I think the Halloween is because in that first one you have that big banquet hall when they show like all the Halloween and like the yeah, pumpkins. But, but I they feel also like do it's Christmas way too. less Christmas and way more Halloween. I don't know. I've always kind of associated with Maybe both. like wizard <laughs> stuff. Why everything, every last little thing, every single tiny microscopic thing must go. I forget how much singing is in this. <laughs> That's how uh, Nightmare. No, nah, I was gonna say Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare Before Christmas was not Nightmare on Elm Freddy Street. Freddy Krueger. But actually, Casey would know because she actually hasn't yeah, seen that I movie. Yeah, I just know it's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Maybe we'll watch that this month too. Maybe. Whatever you need to tell yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible day. There's stigma against fish, fish merchants in this world. <laughs> it's a sad, sad state of affairs we're in. I always love like the different types of people in his movies. They all look so different. Except for the ones that look like twins. Your father and I <laughs> like each other. <laughs> little. Of, of course, course not. not. Of course it's laced properly. So, I mean, I'm assuming that he's marrying her at some point, but like, I don't know if that's the person they're arranging. I've never even spoken to her. Well, at least we have that in our favor. Hey, you! Silence that blood! I always spill on myself. <laughs> the butler looks like Conchu. <laughs> Poor oh, damned lady Everdot, Mr. and Mrs. Van Dort. Why, you must be Miss Victoria. Oh. <laughs> He's covering his little bit of hair that's left. <laughs> we'll be taking tea in the West Drawing Room. Well, do come as well. It's just for the Oh, I love what you've done with the place. Who is your decorator? Nice time. Who's your decorator to make like a dead flower? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna knock over the little flower. The only decoration. Excuse me. Mother won't let me near the piano. Music is improper for a young lady. What? <laughs> that seems preposterous. Where is your sh chaperone? Perhaps, in, in view of the circumstances, you could call me Victoria. Yes, of course, well, Victoria. Yes. He's like stressing. <laughs> we are to be. He's mm. <laughs> no. He's like, I have one condition, no shitting in the bed. Oh. <laughs> silly, isn't it? Yes, silly. No, not at all. No. Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. Oh, it's alive. What impropriety is this? <laughs> <laughs> They're getting married tomorrow. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come at once. How did she come out of them too? From the beginning, again. <laughs> With this hand, I will lift your sorrows, your cup. They all have the tallest hats. Mm. With this candle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Continue. Get the door, Emil. So this is obviously called Corpse Bride, so I've seen pictures of her dead, so I'm imagining she's gonna die at some point. But like, before or after, they actually tie the knot. Do carry on. Let's try it again, shall we, Master Van? I'm anticipating her death, and like, I'm just like keeping my eyes open for whoever could do it. <laughs> right now I'm kind of suspecting the parents a little bit, and obviously this dude. 
touched. Ow! <laughs> Pay attention! Have you even remembered to bring the ring? The ring? Yes. It's not my gosh. Of course. Oh, no! <laughs> ring, the ring. Fun fact, we actually lost the wedding rings on our wedding. <laughs> I didn't know about it. Yeah, no, I didn't he tell he her. <laughs> Oh, oh, my best uh, men. Oh, no. <laughs> One of my best men was like digging in the trash to find it and stuff. We ended up finding it eventually. <laughs> what a chaotic wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe y'all aren't meant to be married. <laughs> oh, is that wine? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Put it out. I thought it was going to like freaking. Whoosh. Enough. This wedding cannot take place until he is properly prepared. Learn your vows. <laughs> I mean, he's just kind of a klutz. <laughs> it's a big deal. It wasn't the vows he messed up on. No, no. He messed up on the rest. <laughs> well, he's quite the catch, isn't he? Is this guy trying to play Mr. Studio Girl? <laughs> That's the vibe I get. Because why the hell would he be coming to this wedding? <laughs> Did they really used to do news like that? <laughs> it's like the the drama channels on YouTube, <laughs> but it's like guy. I will take your wine. <laughs> no. <laughs> With this hand, I will cup your. <laughs> <laughs> That comes later in the night. <laughs> With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you. <laughs> that does look like a hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no way. Is there a different, like, person that he's going to marry? <gasps> he's like, I got you now. <laughs> Damn, I really had this thing wrong. <laughs> I was thinking that the girl he was gonna marry is just gonna die. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the corpse ride! <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid and I watched this, I thought she was like the prettiest thing ever. I mean, really? I know she's dead, but I was like, <laughs> Wow. It's like, that's wedding goals for me. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> with the rib out and everything. <laughs> Ew. My name is I always used to get grossed out by his head. And I'm not afraid to use him. I want some questions now. Answers. I think you mean answers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Well, that's kind of a long story. What a story it is. That's <laughs> <laughs> passion. And a murder most foul. This is gonna be good. Oh. I'm assuming she died on her wedding day. If you ask me, your boyfriend is kind of jumpy. It's not my boyfriend. It's her husband. <laughs> this is your home now. But I don't even know your name. Well, that's a great way to start a marriage. Shh, shut up. Oh, that's the maggot. <laughs> I was like, what's the boy? I'm gonna call you Bones. <laughs> Scraps? Oh. I like my name better. Bones would be good. My dog Scraps. Oh, wait, was this a dog before? Oh, Scraps. Oh, I think so. Oh, when he was like younger or something? Yeah, yeah. I have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> Sit. Sit, Scraps. Sit. Oh, that's cute. Boy, Scraps. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> its head stays the same. Oh. <laughs> Sensitive subject. That was rude. <laughs> now that you mention it, I think you should. Since we're, you know, married, you should definitely meet her. Mm -hmm. And my father, too. We should go and see them right now. Like he's take trying, him back. He's trying to get home, yeah. Held and got naked. What'd she say? A name. Ouch. 
Can they not be in? I mean, she was up there. <laughs> His beard. Upstairs? Mm -hmm. To visit the land of the living. Land of the living? Oh, my dear. Please, Elder Goodness. Now, why go up there when people are dying to get down here? <laughs> Literally. Mm -hmm. I spent so long in the darkness, I'd almost forgotten how beautiful the moonlight is. <laughs> I'm like conflicted on like <laughs> for Victor like she's nice and all but obviously she's dead so I don't know <laughs> I think I should prepare mother and father for the big news I'll go ahead and you wait here. Mm, I've been left in the woods before. <laughs> She's like, what's this I hear about another girl? <laughs> Come by the fire. Where have you been? Are you all right? I... You're as cold as death. What's <laughs> happened to you? Your coat. I've seen death. <laughs> I married it. <laughs> But our wedding could not come soon enough. Victor. I'm glad I married I someone else in the same. meantime. No cheating. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and you should know it's unexpected. Oh shit. <laughs> She's like, you homewrecker! <laughs> This? Uh, <laughs> she's she's time his wife. Oh shit. <laughs> Are you not gonna freak out that she's like bones? <laughs> this is a Tim Burton universe. <laughs> Just to get back to that other woman. <laughs> Don't you understand? You're the other woman. <laughs> no! You're married to me! She's the other woman! Aww. <laughs> she's got a point. <laughs> Do we leave the maggot in like, the land of the living? I'm sorry, but this just can't work. Why not? It's my eye, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's nice. I think she was murdered by the other guy. And it also makes me think that she he wants to murder Victoria as well, but we'll see. Those girls are ten a penny. You've got so much more. You've got, <laughs> you've got, no. you've got a wonderful personality. This is your hype crew. <laughs> only you could see, see how special, special you can be. If only you knew that we know. Hey, I wish spiders were really like that. <laughs> what nice Instead and of talked. scary. <laughs> it's true, mother. Victor is married to a dead woman. <laughs> I saw her. A corpse. I think she's standing crazy. Standing right here with Victor. Victor was in your room. <laughs> oh, That's what God. she's fixated on? <laughs> I feel for both these girls. <laughs> is that going to get you anywhere? I mean, you can, I guess, shimmy down the oh. pillar if you get to that point. Oh. Mortification never cease. This, this guy. Before we can show ourselves Waiting in public to sweep, again. What like swoop we do? in here and like continue his kill her probably because I still feel like he was the one who was going to marry the corpse bride. She is befitting royalty. Your lady wife is a mist. Like her mom's hair looks like an upside down ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> I was betrothed some years ago, but oh. tragedy. I mean, I don't know why I'm looking at you like you wouldn't already know the answer, but like that's my guess. Wealth counts for naught. Fucking trust you. Weren't you supposed to be a relative anyway? Like, what the hell? I guess, yeah. You little weasel. Victor Van Dorta's gone, child. You shall marry Lord Barkis tomorrow. According, According to plan. 
Is he gonna break in a song and explain how he killed his first like fiance? I don't know if they got married before or after. They said I do. Will come sooner than yep. you think. Fucking creep. <laughs> Contact his mother. <laughs> Silence that blasted coughing. <laughs> probably quit smoking. <laughs> Good dog. Good dog. Everything's a coffin. I know, they repurpose so many coffins. Guess they have a lot. <laughs> it's just this whole day hasn't gone quite according to plan. It's <laughs> 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 so like you're not gonna show me up. Oh! <laughs> How's the pl piano still playing? <laughs> Mayhew, how nice to see you. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Actually, though, I feel great. That's depressing when you really think about it. <laughs> oh, and uh, Miss Victoria. Yes, yes, how is she? Well, she's getting married this evening. What? Married to who? Some newcomer, Lord, somebody <gasps> around. Corpse Bride, hear that noise. Or hear that name. <laughs> hear that noise. <laughs> Say the name. But how could she? Women. You can't live with them. You no. can't live with them. <laughs> You're literally a skeleton. The sea leads to many places, dear. Maybe you'll land somewhere better. How does she know? I know, oh my god. <laughs> how gosh. are you alive? It's like, how many times have you said this? <laughs> For you killed somebody. I'm too late. You get up there quicker, she's gonna end up down here too. What are you saying? Death has already parted you. If he finds out, he'll leave. <laughs> there must be something you can do. Well, then. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I could never ask him. You don't have to. I'll do it. Oh, no. shit, no. You may never return to the world above. Do you understand? I do. I need to go up there, see who Victoria married, kill his ass, and then, I mean, for the corpse bride, I don't really see how she's gonna be happy at the end. And follow us. We are moving this wedding party. Can you revenge? Upstairs. <laughs> I didn't know we had an upstairs. <laughs> Sounds creepy. Let's go. Oh, those kids died. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Snazzy. I mean, it was sweet that he offered that. Yeah. But he kind of did it after he realized that she was married. Yeah. Is that supposed to be Napoleon? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't think I've ever once like realized that. That dude took a fucking cannon <laughs> ball to like the chest. Their tiny cake. <laughs> Well, the wedding with all the dead people was more yeah. lively than this. <laughs> it was lit. <laughs> yeah, this shit's depressing. <laughs> Victoria has found a husband with all these qualities. 
Oh and my God. War. He's talking about himself. Serendipity brought us together, <laughs> and no force on earth. Could Are they just eating like the crows? I'm like, <laughs> oh shit, here they come. Hopefully. I wanted to recognize him and kill him. <laughs> Smooth. I don't and eat I it. In me soup. <laughs> <laughs> in me soup. Excuse <laughs> me. You don't know me, but I used to live in your dead mother. Oh, oh my gosh! What the heck? <laughs> A woman with meat on her bones. Who <laughs> 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 invited these people? These people? They're like bones. Why, my grandfather Evergrant could see this if he's turning into Watch him be here. Finish. Oh. Where are you keeping <laughs> spirits? <laughs> <laughs> Walker. What the heck? If you can move that well, do you need the walker? <laughs> oh, I want to see their dead relatives. You've been dead for 15 years. Frankly, my dear, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't have any money it's my marriage to you that will save them from the poor house the, the poor house <laughs> it isn't true tell me it's all I you chose the wrong mm -hmm. wife Marcus, well, perhaps in disappointment we are perfectly matched <laughs> and they show up before he tries to kill her though Like, ah, yes, a marriage to kill yourself. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what he has to do, drink the poison. With this hand, I will lift your sorrows. Your will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and drag you down with me. So that part is one of these girls has to be sad <laughs> at the end of it all. Mm -hmm. Go on, my dear. Your cup will never empty. Let him live. Object to your own wedding. Go give that freaking cup to that freaking soy beta cuck that you wanted to marry in the first place. There. I'll not leave here empty handed. Until death do us part. I left you. The dead. Oh. <laughs> this girl is obviously delusional. Mm. <laughs> She's obviously dead, so. Do I have to kill you too? Ah, ah there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> A fork. Oh. <laughs> Poison him. Drink the damn cup. <laughs> He took from you. No, kill him. Don't let him live. <laughs> oh, drink the cup. Yeah, you dumbass. <laughs> That's what you fucking deserve. <laughs> we must abide by their rules. We are amongst the living. Well said. <laughs> That's what you get. She better not get with him in the afterlife. <laughs> You'll find somebody down there one day. No! Oh! Uh -huh. oh. 
<laughs> there we go. Sad that she never got to get married for real. Mm -hmm. Liked it. I think I might have liked it a little bit more before The Nightmare Before Christmas, to be honest. But I also haven't seen The Nightmare Before Christmas since I was a kid. And it's funny, when I saw that movie, it kind of, it didn't scare me, but I saw it like relatively young where I was like, Ugh. it was kind of like, I'd want to watch it as a kid, but I was kind of still iffy about it as a kid. Like, I remember watching like Thriller when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I'd like want to watch it, but I was also still scared of it. I think I always have liked this one just a little more than Nightmare Before Christmas, mm -hmm. but I think I like the, you know, just the storyline of yeah, it. Yeah, I and do then too. I like the way it ended. I mean, I didn't like it, but you know, that she kind of gave, gave up this ideal she had and, you know, let him have a happy life because she got taken away from her and she's still never really I mean she got to be freed but she never really got what she wanted I always thought that was really poetic and I always liked that ending yeah unfortunate for her I was like thinking as like the story was progressing I was like okay well if we kill him then at least she could have that which I don't really think she even cared too much there at the end but I was kind of thinking like okay somebody's gonna be sad here at the end of this and obviously when that guy showed up before yeah. like the wedding happened I was like this dude is here to fuck shit up you could just tell by the look on his face. I was like, how the hell did he just show up randomly when nobody else hears except for like the parents for the rehearsal and whatnot. So I knew he was gonna play some role into this. Um, I'm glad he got what he deserved, but I did like the plot and I feel like the story was relatively short, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it, it kind of had its beginning and end and told you in a really concise way. For being so short, it told such a great story. There's a reason that this is still, you know, regarded to this day. Everybody loves Corpse Bride and just Tim Burton in general and I think that he makes great movies. Alright, well thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye everyone. <laughs>